Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. So I wanted to make a Crypto Hopper video that ends all other Crypto Hopper videos. I know that kind of sounds like a joke, but there's so many videos, you know, on my channel, other people's channels, that you know we go over the settings and this and that, but you know it might be hard to follow, and you don't really know if we're getting good results, and you know it may work one day, may not work another day. So let me just tell you, I've been using Crypto Hopper for what four months five months something like that um i literally play with this thing every single day i manage a facebook group that has over a thousand people in it and that's we talk about crypto hopper we talk about uh cryptocurrencies um and we share you know what's working what's not working with crypto hopper people share their settings their configurations um, so I see what's working, what's not working for people. I read forums. I watch other videos. So I know what works and what doesn't work with this bot. And let me tell you, what I have set up here is by far what I have seen, it works the best. I mean, I, I mean, please let me know if you have something working better because, you know, not I'm not bragging by any means um, because you know this is meant to to share and you know with with everyone out there and as well as please do share with me because we're all here to learn together right um, but let me know in the comments if you're having uh, better results or if you want to you know let me know if you can help others too but like I said I mean I've been researching so much and just watching so many other videos and talking with, you know, in, in this huge Facebook group that I'm in of over a thousand people. And we're all talking about Crypto Hopper and our settings and our configurations, what's working, what's not working, reading the forms, watching videos. And I'm just constantly tweaking and playing with this bot. And I have yet to have this good of settings with this thing. And not only that, the market has been horrible. So to have this good of settings in this bad of a market is just fantastic. So I'm going to share this with you. And that's what this video is about. It's 100% Crypto Hopper. I'm going to share you with you guys everything I've done, um, my settings, what I recommend, and kind of my strategy going forward. So let me start by this is not my account. This is not my Crypto Hopper account. So what happened is someone reached out to me. They've been watching my videos. Um, they went on my website uh, and they said, hey, you know, I've been following Crypto Hopper. I really like Crypto Hopper. I want to I want to get into it, but, you know, it's confusing to me. Uh, I think I, you know, I have an idea how to set it up, but it's, you know, it's a lot of work. I just don't have the time. I, I, I just don't want to bother with it. Um, it's just, it's just too much. Um, it, they basically said, can you just set it up for me? Like, and, and then I basically responded it's like, you know, I would love to, but you know, I can't tell you how many people reach out to me on a daily basis. You know, they they send me a message, that, you know, on, on direct message on YouTube, they, you know, a comment on YouTube, they're emailing the, the Life Zoltar email, they're going on the website and sending me messages. I'm literally getting upwards of 10 messages sometimes a day of, you know, can you help me with Crypto Hopper or, you know, what are your configurations uh, settings or, you know, this and that and not even Crypto Hopper, just general, you know, crypto stuff too. And I mean, not to say I'm an expert by any means, um, but it's just, you know, what I've been doing and, you know, obviously they're, they're asking because, you know, I'm making the videos and just kind of following my, or they're following my, uh, my journey here, which makes sense. But anyways, you know, I, I responded to him and said, man, I would love to do this for you, but I just don't have the time. You know, I have a full time job. Um, I'm in the tech industry. I literally work like 10 uh, over, you know, 10, sometimes 12 hour days. I mean, I'm you have a very, very demanding job, five, sometimes even six days a week. I mean, I barely have enough time for myself sometimes. Um, and not only that, I just recently took on a part time job. Um, 
and I, I work for an asset management company as an ICO analyst. So, I mean, you know, take, you know, 10 hour days, and, you know, with my day job and then add in this ICO analyst for a wealth management company and I have zero time. Um, so he's like, okay, I completely understand. I need this. I have a lot of Bitcoin. I want to invest. I will pay you. Um, I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, I, I still just don't have the time. So anyways, he was so persistent. He's a really nice guy. I'm like, all right, let's work, we'll work something out. I'll, I'll find some time. So anyways, that's kind of how this all started. But, but anyways, as far as everyone else emailing me, more than likely I responded to you. Um, it may have taken some time, a day, two days, three days, and, or may, my response may have been uh, very short. So I, you know, apologize for that, but um, I do respond. It may have just takes time. So that's the reason why I'm extremely busy, um, but I still try to provide all this content for you guys because, you know, um, I know we're all sharing and, you know, um, sure, you know, other people are doing the same for me. So I want to kind of spread the love here. Um, and also, you know, if you guys have settings too, I mean, I would appreciate if you would share that with me too. So if you have something better that's working, please share it with me just as I'm sharing this with you. Would really, really appreciate it. So anyways, um, this is his account. So, um, again, I spoke with him, uh, so, you know, we're fine here. Um, this, this account is five days old. So uh, it's brand new. So he basically said, I want to start from scratch. So I created a brand new Crypto Hopper account. Um, and he basically deposited uh, some uh, Bitcoin into Bittrex. And uh, we started fresh. So we signed up for a Kangaroo subscription. So if you're not familiar, a Kangaroo is the best subscription so if you really want to have the best results with crypto hopper um, I recommend signing up for the kangaroo you get the max amount of open positions you get the max amount of coins it says 75 but there's an option to select all coins which is great for when you sign up for the signals that means you get all the signals that are triggered so that uh, you know you get all the coins I um, it's right here see it says all coins for signals so you never miss out on a signal. Um, you get, you know, triggers, arbitrage if you want that. Um, um, and then here you get buying two minute intervals. So, I mean, you're basically buying every two minutes compared to, you know, 10 and then five minutes here. So, again, it's more expensive. It's 99 per month. But, I mean, we're literally making, you know, we're, 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 we're making, uh, well, with how much he has invested here, I mean, we're making what, like 300 bucks a day or something like that now with how much he has invested. No, again, I mean, it's all dependent on the market and this and that, but you know, we're just, we're having some really good days. So again, we're on the with kangaroo package and I'll go, I'll get into the settings and we're on the paid signals. So I'll get into this. All right. So we started off with 0.68, uh, Bitcoin invested. So that's about 68 or $6,500. Um, and I don't really like using these statistics here because this actually, it says we're up 4%. We're actually up more than that. We're up like 7%. The reason being this factors in your open positions. So this is not a good indicator of, of, um, how much you're up and your open positions, um, you're going to have red positions because when you're running on signals only like we are, we're on mining hamster and the crypto grow, which are two paid signal groups. They specifically say you will not have your max uh, percentage signal sometimes for up to a week. So they'll issue a signal and they won't even hit their max percentage signal for sometimes up until seven days. So you can have these open positions that will be negative for sometimes up to seven days. So yes, you will have red and negative signals. So don't fear that. I mean, that's the whole part of trading. And that's the whole idea of trading um, is to have open positions, open negative positions. Um, and yes, we do have some positive and once they reach our targets, they'll, they'll sell off. So don't fear open positions. Now you can set um, stop losses. So if they hit like a negative 20, you know, and they, and they suck up, you know, a, a ton of your Bitcoin, it, it'll sell off. Um, so if you want to automate this bot where you don't have to touch it, I would recommend putting in a stop loss of 20% 
or maybe even uh, 15 percent so it's not hogging you know portions of your Bitcoin that could otherwise be trading so the idea behind that is you know if a, if a position reaches you know 15 20 percent it'll sell off yes you'll you know you'll take a 20 percent loss but you can make up that 20 percent loss doing trades um, that would otherwise you know be sitting there right in, in a negative position for weeks possibly right so that's that's the idea behind that but again for the most part um, he and, and myself kind of monitor this um, you know on a weekly or even daily basis sometimes so we didn't enable stop loss so so like I said I don't recommend this um, and I'll show you what I do recommend as far as actually looking at your gains now this is your asset on exchange you now obviously this number is huge because we just added more Bitcoin on the exchange so this is not a good indicator too um, so this is start balance so this is the amount we started on in the exchange so the current amount on the exchange so there was more Bitcoin added on the exchange recently and that's why that number is out of whack um, this was the initial uh, Bitcoin invested on the exchange and this is what they say the return is but that factors in these open exchanges that will eventually sell off so that is not a good indicator to go off of um, and hopefully as you're watching this you're familiar with the rest of the crypto hopper um, settings so I don't want to get in too much of this um, and this is a good indicator down here too of um, make sure you have you select this live feed um, and you know uh, errors don't select errors only leave that off select live feed and just so you can always come down here and look to see what the bots are doing um, so it's it is pretty much like a, a real-time live feed and then you can check for to see exactly what it's doing whether it's you know gonna do a buy order whether it got a signal whether it got an error that sort of thing and here's all your current assets on the exchange that it bought um, your, your signal outputs you know as you can see we just recently received a signal from crypto grower um, that sort of thing all right so um, I'm going to go to the trade history and blow you guys' mind because this thing has been getting enormous trade amounts. I'm just going to filter this. Look at this. Almost a 20% trade, 9%, you know, 8.5, almost 7, 6, 5, 5, 5. Now, again, this thing has been only running for five days. Um, and we are squeaking out enormous trade amounts. Um, absolutely enormous trade amounts so let me just page through here um, again this is only five days this bot was set up brand new fresh um, on a kangaroo subscription uh, synced up with uh, Bitrix now again I recommend Bitrix out of all the exchanges they have and I'll get into this but um, if you're running signals they have the most signals and they are a very stable exchange it seems very uh, fast with the APIs um, very few errors I'm experiencing I was I was on Poloniex before um, there was a few errors they had very low signals I know a lot of folks that are on Binance there's a ton of errors that they're having a lot of issues a lot of API issues so if my recommendation is to run Bitrix with Crypto Hopper. That is by far the best. And this Kangaroo subscription is worth it if you plan on investing um, a, a decent amount of Bitcoin with it. So I'm just going to quickly go through these trades just to show you guys how great this thing is doing. Um, it's been just getting amazing, amazing trades. So let me just filter it by date. So um, right now it is. March 7th and it's 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so you can see the last trade was about 20 minutes ago actually that was a buy excuse me so last trade was about uh, about two hours ago um, that was a little over two uh, two percent and then we had almost a five percent trade here two and a half eight and a half so it's been it's been killing it it's been absolutely killing it and like these high of trades um, or is just just awesome all right so that's the trade history so now here's where I want you guys to go to actually look at your real returns so go to the stats over here so BTC returns now this is your actual returns so as you can see this is the amount that we started with was 0.68 
Um, and if you go back here, you can see this matches BTC invested, BTC invested. So that's about $6,500 in Bitcoin we started with. BTC returns, and that's about $500, 500 US dollars. So we made $500 in under five days. Um, not too bad. Not too bad considering this is the market. Look at, look, look at Bitcoin. It tanked. Um, it's down 7%. And it, look at it. Uh, it dropped quite a bit the past um, past couple days. So for it to be, for us to make $500 in the past four or five days and have Bitcoin, you know, drop, you know, this much is, is pretty phenomenal. Pretty phenomenal. So anyways, this is a fair number to look at to see your returns. So what you do is you basically take this number divided by this number to get your percentage return. So like I said, this is about $6,500 convert, converted to US dollars. This is about $500 converted to US dollars. This number divided by this number is about 7%. So that's a 7% gain in about four or five days. Now this number does not factor in the open positions like as I mentioned before you do not want to factor in open positions because those open positions will eventually sell and even mining hamster says their signals could take upwards of a week to hit max profits and sell so do not factor in open positions all right um, and then again this is just the general stats page you know your buys and sells your open position pie charts but but again this is this is the number you want for your BTC returns 7% gain in five days we made $500 um, in four or five days pretty darn good um, all right so let's go charts I don't want this video to be like a complete crypto hopper uh, demo because you know you can find other videos for that but um, let me get into the meat and potatoes of this thing so I am only subscribed to two signal groups mining hamster signals and crypto grower both of these are paid signals this one's six dollars a month this one's five dollars a month that's it. I'm not bothering with TA strategies, none of that. I want this hands off. These guys, you know, we're paying these guys to do the work for us. That's basically what it comes down to. So, and I'm going to tell you something about signals. Mining Hamster, Mining Hamster has been um, absolutely phenomenal. So here's the reason why I recommend using Bitrix with Mining Hamster. So let me go um, go to their website, miningham.com. They will show you the exchanges that they work with. Here's why I recommend running Bitrix with Mining Hamster. Look at they have the most currencies and they trigger the most signals. Look at compared to Poloniex compared to Binance, compared to hit BTC, look at Bitrix blows them all out of the water. If you compare the number of currencies, compare the number of signals sent, um, you know, look at even compare the profits, compare the, uh, you know, just, just compare the exchanges and you can see why, I mean, you almost be nuts not to, run a uh, crypto hopper on Bitrix. I mean, just look at these statistics. That's why it, it only makes sense to run uh, mining hamster uh, on, you know, with Bitrix on, on crypto hopper. It just it only makes sense. So now speaking of mining hamster, I mentioned how we have those open positions, right? So they're only saying mining hamster only is basically saying they may not only reach the max percentage profit until after 24 hours. 
So they're basically saying you could have open positions. So they'll they'll send a signal out. Don't be impatient. You're going to have open negative positions for you know one day, two days, three days, sometimes even a week or more. They're saying upwards of 24 hours or more that you may not reach their max percentage profit. Right? So you can clearly see that here on their website. So just just note that guys because I'm hearing a lot of people say, you know, I have all these open positions, um, this and that, my power just went out. <laughs> Good thing I have a battery backup. Um, hopefully everything's still recording. I'm just gonna pause the video here. Hopefully it doesn't cut out. All right, sorry about that guys. The power completely went out. Um, thankfully I had a battery backup um, on this computer so I didn't lose anything. All right, so back to what I was saying. Um, you have a better chance of getting a higher profit on these signals by waiting um, 24 hours or more. So if you go on the Mining Hamster website and you know have a look at this, and even go down, scroll down further on this page, this is the statistics page here by clicking the top link here. They even say this, best profit period. Profit chance, 95% you have the highest 95% chance of making the best profit after 24 hours. So just know that, um, you know, while, while you do this. And again, Bittrex was, you know, the top exchange with the most currencies and most signal sent. So anyways, that's, that's my recommendation. You know, Kangaroo, Bittrex Exchange, um, Mining Hamster Signals, as well as the, uh, you know, crypto grower. And, it, and crypto grower is okay. Mining hamster is by far the best. And if, you, if you had to pick one, go with mining hamster. This one's okay. Um, uh, but if I had to pick one, I would definitely do the, the mining hamster. All right, so now. Sorry for taking so long to get into the config settings. All right, so here we go. Uh, Bitrix. Live bots on. Base currencies, Bitcoin. Now, again, I am doing strategy, no strategy, signals only. I have tried messing with the TA strategies. I don't know how many times I customized the TA strategies. Again, every time the market changes, you have to go in and, and, and play with those settings. It's just constant, constant changing of settings. And again, it's so hard uh, trying to get a perfect setting um, with that. And it's just not worth it. Let those signal groups do the work for you. Again, it, they're not perfect, um, but you know, let them do the work for you, please. Um, if, if you want the best luck with, with crypto hopper, that's, you know, why we pay the $6 a month. You know, again, they have people that, you know, do this for a living. They read the charts. Um, you know, they do the research for us. So let, let them do the work for us. So we don't have to, you know, spend all of our days trying to figure out the TA strategies and then come in here and change it. And it's just not worth it. I mean, unless, you know, you do have that kind of time to be spending on this. Um, so now again, I have the kangaroo package here. So allow all coins is selected. So all, all the coins on Bitrix exchange, um, I can select. So anytime a signal is triggered, um, it doesn't matter. It'll select that coin and, and basically buy it. So that's great. Now this percent profit is basically, I have a 1.5, but it doesn't matter because I have a trailing stop loss on. So it basically ignores that. So feel free to ignore that. Uh, use ticker rate, highest bid, lower, lowest ask. Um, that's basically just, you know, taking the top, uh, top of the list, um, on a buy and, and a sell order there. So just leave that be. Cooldown, um, I don't really play, no real need to play with that yet. That's a new feature. Um, I'll play with that more as time comes. But again, like this is working great for me. So no need to play with their new feature just quite yet. Uh, lower bid, higher ask. I don't want the bot to be sitting for, you know, minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, just trying to get a little bit of a higher bid or a higher ask. So I leave those at zero. I'm just going to take, you know, I'm going to take the current uh, market order on these. So I'm going to leave those at zero. 
um, not doing arbitrage. Um, now again, like I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, if you want a hands-off approach to this bot, I suggest you put your stop loss on. Put your stop loss at least 15, maybe 20%. So if a coin goes up to a 15 or 20% loss, it'll automatically sell. That'll free up your Bitcoin or your base currency and allow that to be traded um, with other trades. Um, and eventually you'll make that loss back up. The last thing you want to do is have all these coins sitting in there with huge losses, sucking up your entire portfolio and not allowing your bot to make trades. So again, it's kind of a, you know, kind of a, a you know take take and take and make kind of thing um so but uh, you know I, i'm in here quite a bit so i log in quite a bit so i turn i turn that off now if i was going on vacation for you know maybe two weeks or something like that i would turn that on and probably set it at 20 percent just because I, i'm not checking on it all right so now this is the biggest question uh that i get asked constantly what's your trailing stop loss um so again i'm on signals uh, and these signals could go anywhere from what 2% to like 30%. So I found this trailing, uh, this arm and stop loss to work the best, uh, with mining hamster so far. You now, please let me know down in the comments or send me a message if you find something that works better. Um, because you know, again, this is all about you know, sharing knowledge. And if you let me know, I'll let other people know too because. You know that's what you know the YouTube community is for is about you know sharing knowledge um, with everyone. So trailing stop loss is on. My stop loss percentage is 0.75. My arm is at three. So let me explain how this works because I get so many questions on this. So when a coin goes up to three percent, the arm gets triggered. If it goes down to 0.75, it's going to sell. So what that means is, let me get my calculator. So if I get a signal. I buy a coin, the coin goes up to 3%, the arm gets triggered, then it immediately starts going down, then it goes down 0.75%. So what that means is, take 3% minus 0.75, that means it's going to sell for 2.25, more than likely. Now again, that's not guaranteed because there could be, it may not get the sell order in fast enough or uh, you know the API could be lagging or the exchange could take a while so but all things considered if the if you get a signal it immediately goes up three percent and immediately drops down to 0 0.75 your trade is going to sell for 2.25 percent now the reason why this is so great is because more than likely that's not going to happen and that and if you've seen in the beginning of the video when we went through that trade history i got trades upwards of 20 percent and how i got that was i got a signal and the coin just skyrocketed and it didn't go down and it, it or at least it didn't go down at least 0.75 so my how this setting work how the setting works is it will not sell a coin unless it dips below a 0.75%. So I get a signal, the coin goes up, 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 maybe down 0.25, doesn't matter. Up, 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 0.5, it goes down, doesn't matter, not going to sell. Up, 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 0.6, it goes down, doesn't matter. And now as long as it, as long as it went up at least 3%, it's not, and, and it you know, hasn't gone down this amount, it's not going to sell. So that's how this works, and that's how awesome this is. Now, if you disable this, if you turn off um, chilling stop loss, it's only going. It's going to sell once it reaches this percentage profit. So it's a, a, you get a signal, a coin reaches one point five percent. Doesn't matter. Boom! It's going to it's going to sell. It, you may squeak out one point six. You may squeak out one point seven, one point eight, maybe, or you might get one point three, one point four if. if there's a lag in the exchange that's all you're going to get maybe 1.8 maybe 2% max you're ever going to get right but with trailing stop loss it's so cool um, because the kind of the sky's the limit right as far as that's how I got that 20% gain is because I have this trailing stop loss set so anyways I highly recommend especially with signals because signals are, are so cool because they they see the potential of a coin by reading the uh, 
you know, the analysis and the, doing the charting, they, you know, they can read the potential of the coin to skyrocket. So without having this selected, you're not going to be able to get those max gains. And you're not going to be able to get, you know, like a 20% gain like I got that um, in that one trade. So again, I really, really recommend these settings. And again, how this works is once your coin reaches 3%, three it, it engages the stop loss. Once it dips below a 0.75%, that's when it sells. So it could literally go up to 10%, dip below 0.75, and that's when it sells. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment. I'll hopefully clarify that better. Um, and again, I have this turned on to disable the percentage profit because I don't want this um, on. I, I only want to run on the trailing stop loss. Trailing stop loss buy. This this is a newer feature too. I'm not utilizing that yet. Um, I may play with it again more in the future, but again, this is working amazing. So I don't want to um, you know mess with what's, what's working. Um, hold assets when new target is the same. Now I did have this turned on in my previous videos, but what I have found out is I may be missing out on coin pumps with this turned on. So if there was a signal and I ha and I was holding the coin, and if there was like a quick like pump and dump um, of a coin, I may have missed out on a quick you know profit or a quick sell. So that's the reason why I'm no longer um, using or no longer have this feature turned on. Um, so that's off now. I don't want to close positions within time because, like I said, um, those signal groups basically say you may not reach max uh, profit until at least 24 hours or maybe even up to a week. So I definitely don't want to be auto-closing positions. I want them open. Eventually, they're going to sell off. If they don't, I can sell them off manually or, putting a, or put a stop loss in at like 20%. Um, DCA, that's a newer feature too of Crypto Hopper, basically dollar cost averaging. You're buying a little bit here and there. Um, may play with that more in the future now, but again, this has been working excellent for me. I don't want to ruin it quite yet, um, but again, we'll play with that more in the future and I'll share, with, share that with you guys. Max open time sell, that's at, set at 30 minutes. Um, that's basically allowing the bot 30 minutes to complete a sell order. Um, that's a good setting. I don't really see a reason to allow any more or less um, time to sell. Max open time buy. Um, 15 minutes should be enough to buy. If it takes longer than 15 minutes to buy, I don't really see. Um, it'll it'll basically cancel it. Um, I did have these at 30:30 before, but. If it's really taking a bot, the bot longer than 15 minutes to buy, more than likely we probably missed a target um, by now. So now I kind of bump that down to 15. Max open positions, I put that to 100. I, I don't want, I think any more than 100 is going to slow the bot down um, and it's going to slow the trades down. It's just going to, uh, um, at least from what I'm hearing, um, when I'm reading in the forums, what I, you know, when I heard from Crypto Hopper, that sort of thing that I mean, you, you can bump that up if, if that's not the case, you can bump that up. But there's really no need for me to have more than 100 uh, open positions. Max uh, percentage open position per coin, I have at 1%. Percentage buy amount, I want more uh, more uh, percent being bought per trade, so I have that at 5 uh, BTC amount per order, we, we have quite a bit of Bitcoin in this account, so we're uh, doing big orders. Now again, this looks like there's something in that field, but it's not. I do not want to specify a maximum amount. I want to use all my Bitcoin in the account. So that's zero. So there you go, guys. That's it. Um, now again, this is uh, not my account. This is someone that reached out to me. So what I did was I started um, offering almost consulting services just because I don't have the time to help everyone and I want to help people, but I want to be fair. I mean, that's the only, I want to be fair to you guys and I want to be fair to myself. And the only way to do that is to, you know, partner. So if you go to the Life Zoltar website, it's www.lifezoltar.com. I did a little write up on Crypto Hopper, um, just kind of like what it is, some features on it you know, uh, example of my trades, uh, my videos. And then I did a little uh, write up of, you know, just kind of how I'm getting slammed with requests. Um, in order to be fair with everyone, I kind of did like a, a packages. So I offer like a, a full setup, a config, 
package, um, a tweak package, and then just like some consulting, that sort of thing. And then I showed, shared the results that we had, and then a little contact form. This is the only way uh, that I'm going to be able to help people on on a one-on-one -on -one basis because I just do not have the time. I'm literally working, you know, 10, 12-hour days with my day job, and now I have this part-time um, ICO analyst job, and I'm getting upwards of five, 10 emails a day. You know, help me with Crypto Hopper. What's your settings? You know, this and that, and I just can't do it, guys. I mean, I want to, trust me, I really want to, but I can't. Um, and, and this is the only way that it's fair. This is the only fair way that, that we can do it. Um, it's fair to me and it's fair to you guys. Um, um, so hopefully we can all benefit um, by doing this. Um, but again, uh, let me know of any specific questions. Um, I'll try to you know, help you as much as I can and, and feel free to, you know, if you want me to set your account up um, like this, let me know. Uh, and like I said, you know, we're having great results, you know, 7% gain in five days. We've made, you know, over $500 in four or five days. So it's been pretty good. So hopefully this video, you know, again, I'm sharing as much as I can for free, obviously. Um, but if you want more than that, if you want me to do this for you, is basically um, that's the reason why I offered those consulting services because um, a lot of folks they're not IT savvy they're not tech savvy and they basically just said hey do this for me and obviously you know it's my time is very limited and valuable so the only way for me to ever do something like that is to offer a service so that's the reason why I did that so hopefully it can help you guys out um, with this video let me know what you think uh, leave me some comments subscribe to the channel um, check out the website um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.